Yo, what is going on guys? It is Uncle Kobe here today with a Black Ops 2 Zombies video, which is something new for my channel, but I've actually been having a lot of fun with zombies the last couple days. Been playing it like crazy, first at my friend's house, then last night to like 3.30 in the morning. But today in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what I think is the easiest way to get crazy high round zombies games and basically never die. Uh, last time we stopped playing when we were just too tired to play, we couldn't do it anymore. We were playing for hours and hours and hours, having a blast, but once I hit 3.30 I was just like, alright, I gotta go to sleep. But anyways, first I want to make it clear that we were glitching and taking advantage of exploits. Now I don't really consider it cheating because we were in a custom game. And I don't believe, you know, that gets counted on the leaderboard, so we weren't really affecting anyone else. We were just having a good time all by ourselves. Uh, nonetheless, like I said, we were doing glitches and exploits, so if any of you guys are just 100% against that for some reason, I suggest just clicking off the video. I don't want to make anyone upset for no apparent reason. Now, what we found to pretty much have an unstoppable setup uh, is to have a couple invincible turbines out front and a couple invincible electric traps inside this room at the bus stop. Now, this room is pretty good in general for co-op transit because there's no windows or doors open besides the one up front. And I don't think many people go in here. I could be wrong, uh, but what we did is just have a fort of destruction, basically. As you can see, we barely have to do anything to kill the zombies. However, every now and then, a couple would get in, but with a few of your friends, it's pretty much a walk in the park. Uh, but there are a few things that I highly suggest if you do want to do this. Uh, for one, Juggernaut, of course, that goes without saying. Uh, you just need it for everything you do in zombies, basically, it makes everything so much easier. Uh, two, the Galvanuckles, it's easier to travel around uh, for getting the parts and things like that. And when the Lightning Boss comes in, uh, it really comes in handy, pun intended. And lastly, even though you don't necessarily have to, you know, keep killing the zombies that are attacking the turbines. I totally recommend it because it will reduce the amount of zombies coming into the room. And of course, you just get a ridiculous amount of points. Like, I maxed out my bank vault in one game. I probably had some money in there um, beforehand, but, you know, you just get so much, way more than you need. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys this quick little, you know, setup. I think it's pretty cool. And if you guys don't know how to make any of these things invincible or get into this room without the other doors open or just something like that, uh, just comment down below and I might explain that stuff in the next one. That's, of course, if you guys do want some more zombies videos like this one. I'm getting pretty into the whole zombie storyline and just playing in general it's a ton of fun and and we're definitely going to tweak this setup a little bit see if we can improve it in any way which i'm sure we will but hope you guys enjoyed this quick video i got a ton of stuff in the works all different kinds of videos if you guys want to support the channel please leave a like and a fave helps me on a bunch and again let me know if you guys want to see more zombies i got all kinds of zombies videos that i could be making uh you know but just let me know and i'll see you guys later peace